nuevo capítulo y estación del año también eh, invierno pues ya estamos en primavera y como verán pues prácticamente tras este eh, digamos esta brecha en Volga que es así como se llama el escenario pasado pues no éramos nadie para pues exterminar por tener esas creencias según Artyom ya que en el metro pues de igual manera fueron engañados creyendo de que nadie más había sobrevivido fuera de Moscú entonces pues vamos a ver de qué va este nuevo escenario Artyom Wake up dear Is he up yet? Artyom, the colonel wants you on the bridge. See you later. Come on, wake up. <laughs> you did a great job there. We are not home anymore, so we'd all better act like you did, smoothly. It's not like there's many of us humans left now. So I hope someday we will be able to trust others just because. Because they are people too. Am I bothering you? Sorry, I'm in a philosophical mood today. casco tipo parecido al de Polo, solamente para que es más, como decirlo, más simple, más básico. Nastia, querido papi, así que para que sepas dónde buscamos, buscarnos a mami y a mí cuando vuelvas yo y mami no sé qué queríamos quedar, pero sí, Silentius dice que tenemos que ir a la torre y dejar el vagón, pero yo no quiero, quería esperarte en el vagón, pero mamá dice que no puedo, Silentius dice que no puedes porque vaya a hacer la prueba de fe, eres un mentiroso porque nunca me estás haciendo una prueba eso fue es una estupidez cuando me dice su mamá no dijo nada no dijo nada pero sé que también te espera vuelve pronto y con eso si Dios te hace quiero ah, hi, Artyom Artyom, ¿qué es mi nuevo lugar? fit for a king, I must say ah, what do you think of this workbench, eh? everything is within reach Yet, there's so much space left. A uh, smoke break. That's good. <laughs> oh, this is one mean smoke. Damn, this is rough. Well, <clears throat> nothing we couldn't take. <clears throat> oh. Well, you're the right kind of guys. You, the colonel, Duke, that guy did a swell job on that bridge. And now he's bragging about it like a child. He's a child, really, no, a child, but he's good. So, uh, yeah, what did I want to say? Uh, yes, uh, thank you. You you people accepted me and, and I... Uh, I'm a simple guy. I, I, I will pay that debt back, okay? So, how do you like it out here after your tunnels? Freedom, huh? Sure thing, so much space. It feels too empty to me, though. Just reeds and ruins and those damn mutants. Hate them. Phew. 
where you guys are gonna see the government. So, Bratucha, don't be mad, but just tell me, what the hell do you even need them for? Well, of course, it might be interesting to take a look, but throughout all of my rambling, I only met two kinds of ex-government people. Dead ones and gang leaders. And let me tell you, the latter are much worse than your typical bandit. They just have to make a speech before doing something off. So what I mean, I, I didn't really care about the government even before the war, much less now, when everything's long since gone to shit. So what for, really? I'm a simple man, Artyomich. I told I'm with you, that means I'm with you for the long haul. But I'd much rather find a nice place to live at than go see the government. Of course, they could give us luxury bunkers or something. Well, Artyom, you seem cold. Go get warmed up a bit, I'll smoke some more. I have stuff to think about. Or just stay. <laughs> we have enough space now. Most of the stuff you and the guys found outside and gave to me went into making this workshop happen. So thank you. We'll have to keep pitching in like this too. Looks like we're facing a long journey and useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. Plus, the further from Moscow we get, the harder they'll probably be to get. So don't forget to collect all the materials you find to keep us going. There's so many things to do. I haven't decided where I'm going to work on the suits. But I'll have to, and soon. And it's high time we fixed our uniforms. Some of our people are starting to look pretty ragged, you know? Well, Duke's plate carrier won't hold the back plate anymore, and he jokes that he's lucky it's not the front one, or else his toes would be in danger. <sighs> Regardless, I am turning this little gang back into a real army. Well, that's it. I bragged enough and won't waste any more of your time. The Colonel summoned you. Well, I have stuff to do too. You guys are fast to break gear, but none too expedient to fix it. Uncle Tokarev! Uncle Tokarev! <sighs> what would you like to ask, Nastya? Uncle Tokarev, do you have a sewing machine? No, I don't. But how are you going to fix the suits then? Well, like everyone else, I take a thread and a needle, and I use a sail stitch. Wow, cool! Can you teach me? I sure can, but later. I've got work to do. Will you let me fix Sam's rifle strap? Well, sure thing. Oh, but under supervision. Sam is so strict, you know. Hurrah! And Uncle Sam isn't strict at all. He's kind. <laughs> all right, look here. I'll show you once. Now we do this. Yes. Don't rush it here. Stepan's putting on a live performance here. So, Artyom, are you up for a jam? Come on, pick the guitar up.
Thank you, Stefan. I'm sorry to ask, Katya, but... Nastya's father... He's dead, isn't he? Does Nastya know? He is. I tried keeping it a secret. Told her he left for the market. Around three days passed, and I still kept it in. I just sat there with a needle in my hand and didn't see anything. It was all black before my eyes. And then she snuggles up to me and says, You should cry, Ma. You will feel better. See, he used to say it. So I cried and cried. She knows. She knows it all. I'm sorry, Katya. I'm so sorry. Let me tell you how we ended up at the bridge. We used to live in northeast from here. Quite close if you go in a straight line. But it took us a month. Everything's bombed to rubble out there. Yermak asked me and I told him. Sini used to say there are lots of military factories out there. Not just military, of course. General industry. And now you can't pass through there even with filters. The radiation is so high. No railway either, just crater upon crater. We were quite far, but our counter still went crazy. One route appeared intact. There was nothing to bomb. So we used that one, thinking we'd get further to the west, but... But of course they did not let us cross the bridge with the diesel. They said it was satanic. They were ready to let us stay if we gave them the diesel to cleanse it. So we stayed. And then we couldn't leave, even if we wanted. That old goat, Father Silentius, brainwashed everyone, so they would just pray and bow nonstop. They broke our diesel down with their bare hands and threw it into the river. Purification. And on top of it, they gave us trouble for not helping them. Senia went to check what was going on, and there were only locals there. Because Silentius, at the Skatina, had sent our people away to test them. He said that if they wanted to be truly accepted, they had to defeat a demon. Senia went to stop them. But it was too late. He only found burnt rags. And then they sent him to do the same. He never came back. Katya, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. Well, you really didn't. What's done is done. <laughs> it kind of got so glum in here. Perhaps you, Stepan, could play us something. Sure thing! I'll stop it already! Hey, Artyom, well, the colonel's waiting expect? for you on the bridge. <laughs> so... Uh, it's a long story. Come on, out with it. Well, there I am, sitting on a beam, looking at Artyom, milling about below. Oh, you are so full of it. <laughs> Artyom did most of the work. <laughs> <laughs> that he did. Uh, yeah, he did. But you don't have to interrupt my lies. You asked me about the vest yourselves. All right, go on. So I see Artyom get to the door, and I think it's time I came down. So I do. But something just holds on to me. What does? How should I know? It's dark. Nobody around. But I can't move. And those locals kept going on about Tsar something. So I thought I was in a kind of a bind. So? So I just unfastened the safety and let down. There was that shed down there. The roof was uh, kind of close. Uh, uh, and what about the Tsar? Oh, blue! The Tsar was huge! Scary as shit! And there was this rusty bolt, and my carrier got snagged on it. <laughs> well, you Duke are 
You're lucky you already have a nickname. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. And what was next? Oh, <laughs> next. Next we jumped that old preacher of theirs. Well, Artem did most of it. <laughs> he swooped in like a hawk! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's good. Well, I was clamoring about those beams and fighting that side. <laughs> oh, I'm killing myself! <laughs> well, he basically solved the whole problem. True that. Good job, Artyom. Yeah, you both did well. Crest also. <laughs> sure. He did a swell job distracting those guards. I almost wet my pants with laughter when they started hauling that timber. <laughs> he's an artist. Yeah, he's a great guy. You all came out on top of the game. And that calls for what? A trick. You nailed it. You truly are one of us now, Sam. <laughs> Will you be joining us? Nah, not now. I'll have some at dinner. Well, you'll have to catch up then. Sure thing. Anyways, we will just have a little as a warm-up now. Bueno, Dios, pues no sé cómo voy a ver si quiero el pelo de la Ah, no nos vimos tarde. So excited, my hands are still shaking. The minister himself. This is incredible. By the way, Martin, you should take a look at the map. As you can. 
can see, we are heading almost straight for the Yamantau complex. Katya and Crest tell me that the line there is in decent condition. Surprising, really, taking into account the number of priority targets there. So, we can hope for smooth sailing from here, and right to the very destination. It's not even that far, but our speed depends on the state of the track. So, I think it's going to take us quite some time to get there. So, Yermak, where were we? You were saying, it's all about the results! Ah, yes. We are approaching the Yamantau bunker, the final destination of our long journey. Direct radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved Miller's resentment towards me for destroying our previous lives. He is eagerly anticipating the meeting with the Minister of Defense he was promised. Probably such things are important for a career officer. The people, though, are less interested. They are asking important questions. Where are the occupying forces? Why is there just wilderness and people gone wild around? What's stopping the government from restoring the country? What was being done in the last 20 years? Miller believes that we'll get all the answers. He will be pardoned, as well as Anna and I. And we will all return home to the metro. or not. All right, come with us, or else I'll never hear the end of it. A <laughs> wise decision. Yermak, stop the engine. to the safe zone, and sit tight there. We do that right now! Stefan, you're in charge while I'm away. Sir, yes sir! Great, let's go! This place, where's the Moscow? Yeah, looks like it. See that crater? Wonder what the yield was on that one.
Look at all those cars. Artyom was right. People were coming here from all over the country. Yes, they were. Nobody came from Moscow. Until now. So much time wasted. We'll make up for that now. Well, we're almost there. Ah, c'est un bon vide quand même, pas l'autre. Oh, non, 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 Identify yourself. Colonel Miller, here to report to the Minister of Defense. And where are your people, Colonel? With the train. It's dangerous outside. Contact them and tell them to take the train into the main airlock for decontamination. Welcome to the Ark, Colonel. Proceed through the tunnel and take the elevator. You'll be met inside. Prepare a speech. Reporting to the minister is no joke. Ah, get off my case. I pulled an old nighter. <laughs> Don't you feel like you should say something to Artyom now? Yes. You were right, Artyom. And I was wrong. Thanks for not giving up. Comrade Minister, Commander of the Joint Special Operations Forces Squadron of the City of Moscow, Colonel Miller, reporting. I would like to request that my people are provided with temporary quarters and supplies, as there are women and children among us. Still, our fighters are in top shape and ready for action. Women and children? <laughs> Good. Haven't had those in a while. Who are you? Bien decían todos, incluyéndome, esto no, no tenía buena punta. What the... Where am I? 
Where are the others? <coughs> Everything is going as planned. Everyone is fine. So far. So far? I... I demand a, a meeting with the Minister of Defense, now! Do not worry. Everything will be just fine. And even better. The Minister and the Chief himself are expecting you for dinner. Dinner? What the hell? Are you fucking mocking me? Shut up! The doctor is talking! Where is the government answer? All here, Colonel. All here. We are the government you people deserve. Don't you dare, you fuck! You're just... you're just fucking cannibals! Calm down, we'll get jaundice like this. And believe me, nobody likes that bitter taste. The girl will have to wait, though. We must run the tests first. I don't like that cough I'll of I'll tie my hands, you motherfucker! And I'll shove those tests so far up your ass, you'll be spitting them! Watch your tone, young lady. Do as that young man does. He woke up long ago, but quietly listens to wise people talk. Uh, you fucker! Let me... let me go! So, Colonel, now you will pick up the radio and tell the rest of your people on the train to come here. If you don't want her to suffer for a really long time before she is served. Do you understand? And here I was hoping for an intelligent conversation for a change. Alas. That's not a problem, though, since this nice young man will surely do it instead. He won't dare be contradictory once we're done with you. Well, nice meeting you and all. Yakov, you may start. I'll get you even after I'm dead. That may well happen, Colonel. I could choke on you or something. In the meantime... I'll excuse you beasts, myself. Come here! I'll rip you all apart! Every last one of you should have done that before the war! But I'll get you now! Long time. This scum! To ashes! So that not even their dirty spoons will be Now we'll be full again! Good.
is huge, and we have ten a hall and this torch. Idiot, you come with me to the command center. Artyom, you take the barracks and the sick bay. Let's go! Follow me! Your floor, Artyom. <laughs> Adiós. Come on, Artyom. Adiós. Dice, tuve mucha suerte en no terminar la construcción a tiempo, al final fue lo mejor y pensar que me había disgustado por la estúpida manipulación, quería una manipulación, un montón de cenizas de que sobrevimos del gobierno, nunca llegó, así que el complejo y todas sus tiendas son nuestras, el búnker iba a servir para salvar a un pueblo entero, pero somos solo unos cuantos miles, el único problema es la falta de muchachas, pero esperemos que se disipe la radiación, bajaremos con calma la montaña o mejor dicho emergeremos de ella vaya suerte al final el gobierno no vino por una razón y parece que robaron más el presupuesto para las reservas de comida que para la construcción conseguimos terminar la construcción porque aunque tarde pero las tiendas están vacías claro la, los intendentes son unos ladrones se lo merecían pero al final esos cabrones están diciendo la verdad los estantes están vacíos bueno hay algunas semillas y pasta pero eso no nos durará ni un año Ah, pero ahí se ve aquí no hay comida.
Ah, ok, ok, se me acabó el gas. La presión. ¿Quién sabe qué dice ahí? Oh. Son balas. Pues no puedo agarrarlas.
creo que estamos en una zona de tiro por eso tantas armas Ahí se mueve, el estómago ya no me molesta, menos mal que no hice caso de esos meses va a beber mucho, duraré al menos una semana más, tengo las articulaciones inflamadas, me puedes escribir. No creo que pueda escribir sobre eso, pero debo hacerlo. Hace una semana hicieron sopa, cinco idiotas del barracón se desplomaron en el acto, la engullieron y le reventaron las tripas. Yo estuve un día sin tocarla, luego probé un poco por la noche y la escupí de inmediato. Pero por la mañana sabía apoyo, al menos puedo volver a escribir, pensé que era mi hora. Pues no sé bien a qué se refería con eso. Tal vez veneno, no lo sé. como changos locos que quieren una sala en el trasero Vamos, 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 vamos
Why did you shoot them? What the fuck? Kill! That's me! ¿Quién escuchó los disparos? No sé por qué tienen muchas cabezas. Come <laughs> on. 